whatever you do to her, I'm going to do to you. Threats of other high profile names being involved is what's got everyone talking. I've got to smile. I've got to look the other way. I got to pretend he didn't say that. I got to pretend he didn't touch me. And so I think this is a watershed moment. What happens when three of the most influential icons, Diddy, Oprah, and Steve Harvey, come together for a party that has everyone talking? You won't believe the shocking revelations, unexpected alliances, and game-changing announcements made that night. This is more than just a celebrity gathering. It's a turning point that could shake up the entertainment world as we know it. Curious to find out what went down. Stick around as we dive into new party footage of Diddy, Oprah, and Steve Harvey changes everything. The unveiling of the party footage recently. Party footage featuring Diddy alongside media powerhouses. Oprah and Steve Harvey has become the focus of intense speculation. This footage has resurfaced amidst Diddy's ongoing legal issues, leading many to question the dynamics between these prominent figures and whether their connections hold deeper implications. Although footage of the trio together at a party has stirred curiosity, it's important to clarify that most of the recent media coverage revolves around pictures from past events rather than new videos. Diddy is known for hosting extravagant and exclusive gatherings attended by high-profile celebrities across industries. From fashion icons to music legends, his parties have long been a hub for networking and indulgence. These events, often featuring luxurious venues and an atmosphere of opulence, blur the lines between casual socializing and professional connections. Steve Harvey and Oprah Winfrey are regular faces within this elite circle, with Steve frequently attending Diddy's industry events over the years. These gatherings are not just social occasions, they're status symbols. Attending one of Diddy's famous parties often signals alignment with the entertainment mogul's powerful network. The presence of individuals like Oprah, a media titan with vast influence, and Steve Harvey, a popular TV host and comedian, only heightens the perception of exclusivity. These celebrities by association project an image of solidarity and friendship, reinforcing Diddy's place at the center of Hollywood's elite. As Diddy faces his current legal challenges, the spotlight has intensified on his inner circle. The media and public have started to scrutinize his relationships, speculating about the implications of his powerful connections. Oprah's presence at these events is significant not only because of her reputation, but also because of her influence in shaping narratives. Watering plants? No, no, no I don't know if guys have noticed this, like a lot of ladies drink water at parties they right. just you know so you have if you don't have what they need they're gonna leave right gotta right. keep them there right similarly steve harvey's consistent association with diddy's gatherings has prompted some to revisit the timeline of their interactions questioning whether these friendships might impact the way the story unfolds in the media over the years diddy's parties have attracted a range of celebrities from the music industry's biggest names to hollywood a-listers Recent investigations have led some media outlets to revisit these connections, questioning whether the high-profile nature of Diddy's events masked problematic behavior behind closed doors. Reports have emerged showing the attendance of various influential figures at Diddy's gatherings, including Chris Rock, Pharrell Williams, and more, highlighting the extent of his reach within the entertainment industry. By linking these high-profile appearances with Diddy's current situation, the media amplifies the narrative that there might be more than meets the eye. These associations are being analyzed for any indication of deeper affiliations or business ties, as public interest peaks over how these relationships might evolve in light of the ongoing developments. Could Oprah and Steve Harvey's appearances at Diddy's parties indicate a deeper business alliance or simply casual networking among Hollywood elites? As Diddy's legal issues unfold, will his powerful friends like Oprah and Harvey continue to stand by him, or will they distance themselves to protect their own reputations? Diddy and Oprah, a powerful alliance. Diddy and Oprah's relationship spans several years, often highlighted by their public appearances at events symbolizing more than just friendship. Their alliance raises questions. Are they simply business acquaintances, or does their bond go deeper, influencing the entertainment and business realms? Over the years, Oprah and Diddy have been spotted together at high-profile events, such as the CFDA Fashion Awards, emphasizing their crossover appeal in both fashion and entertainment. Their alliance extends beyond socializing, 
They've appeared together at events focused on philanthropy and media, suggesting strategic positioning. Diddy's fashion line, Sean John, and Oprah's involvement in fashion shows underline the business value of their partnership. Oprah's circle is composed of some of the most influential names in media and entertainment, from Gail King to Tyler Perry. Diddy's regular inclusion in this exclusive group indicates his strategic alignment with Oprah's network, helping him maintain influence in entertainment and media. Given her history of supporting and defending close friends through controversies, Oprah's connection with Diddy is now under increased scrutiny. As Diddy faces legal issues, her influence could become crucial in either amplifying or downplaying narratives surrounding him. Oprah has a long-standing track record of managing controversy involving those within her network. Her connections and media power allow her to shape public perceptions, potentially influencing the ongoing developments concerning Diddy. If she publicly supports him, her credibility might lend weight to his defense. Conversely, any distancing might signal to the public and media that even Oprah is wary, thus affecting Diddy's reputation further. Will Oprah's loyalty to Diddy remain steadfast, or will she choose to protect her brand by distancing herself? Steve Harvey's role in the controversy Harvey's presence in Diddy's network has been well documented through their numerous public collaborations and appearances. The question arises, is Harvey's association purely professional or does he hold a deeper role in Diddy's inner circle? Steve Harvey, known for his influential media presence, has not released a significant statement addressing Diddy's recent troubles. This silence has sparked speculation about his stance. The pair's history includes collaborations at industry events and mutual appearances that suggest a long-standing friendship. However, Harvey's reluctance to comment publicly may indicate a cautious approach to protect his own brand amidst the controversy. Harvey and Diddy's collaboration span years, ranging from hosting events together to being spotted at Diddy's exclusive parties. Their bond extends beyond work, as they've shared stages and socialized at industry functions, making Harvey a familiar face in Diddy's social circles. This deep connection has fueled rumors that Harvey might be caught in the fallout from Diddy's legal issues. If he continues to stay silent, it could affect his image as a neutral, friendly figure in Hollywood. Harvey's close association with Diddy has prompted the media and fans to speculate. Is he distancing himself to avoid negative repercussions, or is he silently supporting his friend? Will Steve Harvey's continued silence raise more questions about his involvement in Diddy's inner circle? Could Harvey's reputation be at risk if he eventually chooses to defend Diddy publicly? The mystery behind the party. Recently surfaced footage from a party hosted by Diddy has sparked intense scrutiny and speculation, particularly given the backdrop of his current legal troubles. This chapter explores the details of the event, the prominent figures present, and the implications of the footage amid Diddy's ongoing controversy. The footage in question was recorded at one of Diddy's lavish parties, renowned for attracting A-list celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey and Steve Harvey. Events hosted by Diddy have long been characterized by their exclusivity in opulent settings, where networking often blurs the lines between professional relationships and social interactions. The exact location of this particular gathering remains unclear, but Diddy's parties typically take place in high-end venues known for their extravagant decor and celebrity guests. Prior to the emergence of this footage, Diddy faced mounting legal issues, including allegations related to trafficking and racketeering. We begin with breaking news. Reports that a Holmby Hills mansion linked to music mogul Sean Diddy Combs was raided by Homeland Security. As such, the timing of this footage's resurfacing has raised eyebrows and prompted questions regarding the nature of the attendees' relationships with Diddy. Oprah and Steve Harvey's appearances at this party, alongside other influential figures, have drawn significant media attention, particularly as their connections with Diddy could potentially affect their public images. In the wake of these legal challenges, the implications of high-profile individuals attending Diddy's events are substantial. The media has been quick to link these appearances to Diddy's alleged actions, speculating whether these celebrities were aware of the unfolding controversy or if they chose to overlook potential red flags in their associations with him. That there will be other high-profile individuals, some household names. He says, quote, many powerful people, mm. there are many dirty secrets. Furthermore, as legal proceedings progress, any footage from these gatherings could become relevant in court, 
especially if it is deemed to hold evidence related to the allegations against Diddy. This situation raises several critical questions. How will the presence of such influential figures at Diddy's parties affect their own reputations? Will Oprah and Steve Harvey choose to publicly distance themselves from Diddy to protect their brands, or will they maintain their alliances, which might suggest tacit support? The footage, when analyzed within the context of Diddy's legal challenges, serves as a powerful reminder of how intertwined personal and professional lives can be in Hollywood. Celebrity Connections, a network of influence. In the ever-evolving landscape of celebrity culture, connections can make or break reputations, especially in times of crisis. Sean Diddy Combs, with his extensive network of influential friends, is currently navigating one of the most turbulent periods of his career due to multiple legal challenges including serious allegations of misconduct and trafficking. But how does his network of celebrity connections play a role in managing his situation? Diddy's circle includes some of the most prominent figures in the entertainment industry, such as Oprah Winfrey, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. These relationships are not merely social. They serve as vital support systems during tumultuous times. The influence of high-profile friends can significantly sway public perception, acting as a buffer against negative narratives in the media. Celebrities often rally around their own, offering not only personal support but also strategic advice on public relations and legal matters. Historically, we've seen how celebrity friendships can shield individuals during scandals. Take, for example, Jay-Z and Beyonce, who have maintained their status amidst numerous controversies. Their combined star power and carefully crafted public personas allow them to manage crisis effectively, often emerging unscathed. <laughs> Diddy, too, has a similar strategy. His relationships often provide a platform for mutual defense, where friends lend their voices and influence to mitigate the fallout from his legal troubles. Moreover, the media plays a crucial role in amplifying these celebrity connections. The high-profile friendships often become the focus of news cycles, shaping the narrative surrounding an individual's challenges. In Diddy's case, the media spotlight not only examines his actions, but also scrutinizes his associations. This interplay of celebrity relationships and media narratives can either bolster or undermine public support. For instance, when allegations against Diddy surfaced, many looked to how his friends responded. Would they stand by him or would they distance themselves? The dynamics of these relationships are crucial, as celebrities often act as character witnesses, lending credibility to one another. Diddy's past interactions with figures like Oprah, who has significant cultural capital, could either elevate his standing or exacerbate his predicament, depending on how they choose to engage with the unfolding drama. Additionally, the impact of social media cannot be overlooked. Diddy's network extends beyond traditional celebrity friendships into a realm where public statements and social media posts can shape perceptions in real time. Support from influential figures can help sway public opinion, allowing Diddy to retain some level of control over his narrative. For example, if friends choose to publicly express their loyalty during his legal battles, it can mitigate some of the backlash he faces, illustrating the protective nature of celebrity connections in crises. However, it's essential to recognize that not all associations are beneficial. The company one keeps can also lead to increased scrutiny. As Diddy navigates these legal waters, the implications of his connections could backfire, particularly if any friends become embroiled in his controversies. In conclusion, Diddy's extensive network of celebrity connections plays a pivotal role in shaping the public's perception of him during his current legal challenges. These relationships can provide both support and scrutiny, influencing how he navigates this tumultuous time. But as we dive deeper into the intricacies of celebrity influence, one must wonder, how long can this network hold strong against the mounting pressures of public opinion and legal ramifications? Oprah, Harvey, and Diddy Mutual interests, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, and Diddy all share a web of mutual interests and business ventures that highlight their interconnectedness. These influential figures have built vast empires, which often intertwine in both business and media collaborations. Oprah's ventures extend beyond her famous talk show. Through her company, Harpo Incorporated, she owns a stake in the Oprah Winfrey Network, or O, and is involved in other media ventures like Weight Watchers or WW. True Food Kitchen and Oatly. 
These investments reveal how Oprah strategically partners with other high-profile names, leveraging her influence to expand her empire and build alliances. Steve Harvey, another significant media personality, runs his own production company, Steve Harvey Global, and hosts various TV shows. He has often been associated with Oprah through mutual business circles, and they both serve as mentors and influential figures in media. Diddy, on the other hand, has built a business empire with ventures like Revolt TV, his own music and entertainment network, and other profitable investments in fashion and spirits such as Sean John and Chirac Vodka. Did I? These business endeavors highlight a pattern. All three utilize media platforms to maintain their influence. The collaboration between these figures can be seen through various projects and public appearances. For instance, Diddy's network, Revolt TV, has hosted shows featuring Oprah and Steve Harvey, allowing them to mutually boost their influence and audience reach. Such partnerships help them maintain their relevance and visibility in the media landscape. This level of mutual support is not new. Celebrities often work together, lending their names to each other's projects to ensure widespread recognition and success. Powerful individuals like Oprah, Steve Harvey, and Diddy often form alliances to navigate controversies and maintain their public image. When one of them faces difficulties, the others may offer support, either directly or through their platforms. For example, when Diddy faced legal troubles in the past, his media connections and influential friends played a crucial role in shaping public perception, illustrating how celebrities rally together to control narratives. The concept of influential figures banding together isn't new. In Hollywood, powerful alliances are essential for maintaining status and influence. Oprah and Diddy have collaborated with numerous celebrities over the years, often hosting or attending each other's events, which boosts their brands. For example, Oprah's ties with influential celebrities like Jay-Z, who is also close with Diddy, and Harvey's work with other comedians and talk show hosts show how interconnected these networks can be. With Diddy's current legal and reputational challenges, the dynamics between these figures may shift. If Diddy's situation escalates or comes under further legal scrutiny, it might test these relationships. Oprah and Harvey might distance themselves publicly to avoid backlash especially if the controversies involve sensitive issues. Alternatively, they may choose to support Diddy discreetly to maintain their network's integrity. In the past, Hollywood figures like these have supported each other behind the scenes to manage crises, as seen when other celebrities rallied around prominent figures like Harvey Weinstein before his public downfall. If Oprah and Harvey continue to publicly associate with Diddy despite his troubles, it could suggest a deeper, perhaps business-oriented relationship that outweighs potential risks. This interconnected web of influence highlights how celebrities often act in their mutual interests. Whether through business ventures, media collaborations, or strategic support, figures like Oprah, Steve Harvey, and Diddy form alliances that ensure they maintain power, visibility, and influence, especially when their empires are at stake. The Impact of the Party Footage What's Next? The recently surfaced footage of Diddy, Oprah, and Steve Harvey has sparked intense speculation. The timing of the footage is critical, as it coincides with Diddy's ongoing legal battles. As the footage circulates, it might play a role in Diddy's case if presented as evidence. Legal experts suggest that such footage could either help or harm his defense depending on the narrative presented around it. The media's role in distributing this footage is significant. In today's digital age, the media amplifies controversies, often influencing public perception before court verdicts are even reached. Tabloids and online platforms have already analyzed and speculated about the footage, which adds to Diddy's existing scrutiny. As for legal strategies, Diddy's team may argue that the footage shows innocent social interactions, while opposing parties could present it differently, especially if it reveals any inappropriate behavior. Legal experts mention that past celebrity cases demonstrate how critical such footage can be when shaping public perception and influencing jury opinion. Oprah and Steve Harvey's involvement further complicates matters. If their legal teams don't act swiftly, their association with Diddy might impact their reputations. Public figures like them must navigate the fine line between supporting a friend and protecting their own brands. Distancing themselves could be a protective strategy, but it may also attract criticism from fans and the media. Public reactions to the footage have been mixed, 
While some view the celebrities' appearances as harmless, others speculate about their involvement. The footage has led to debates online, with fans divided between defending the celebrities and expressing disappointment. If legal proceedings intensify and this footage becomes central, it may affect their long-term image, impacting not just Diddy but Oprah and Steve Harvey as well. As the situation unfolds, the party footage remains a crucial element in the story, highlighting the power of media, public perception, and legal strategies in the lives of high-profile individuals. Shocking new footage has surfaced from a party featuring Diddy, James Corden, and Jimmy Kimmel, leaving fans and media buzzing with speculation. The video has sparked heated debates about the relationships between these stars and the wild night that unfolded. Could this unseen footage change how we view these celebrities? What exactly happened that night? The footage unveiled. The newly surfaced footage featuring Diddy, James Corden, and Jimmy Kimmel has drawn significant attention from fans and media. The video appears to be from a recent event, capturing a relaxed and fun-filled atmosphere between these well-known figures. Diddy is seen engaging in animated conversations with both Corden and Kimmel. One of the key moments in the footage showcases Diddy and Corden reminiscing about their previous collaboration on Carpool Karaoke, a popular segment from The Late Late Show with James Corden. In the clip, Diddy playfully teases Corden about his singing skills during their memorable ride on Carpool Karaoke. Corden, known for his quick wit, responds humorously, creating a lighthearted and engaging interaction. Their conversation not only highlights their genuine friendship, but also reveals Diddy's natural ability to connect with people through humor and charm. The camaraderie between the two is evident as they laugh and joke about their time together on the show. It reminds viewers of the fun moments they shared when Diddy appeared on the segment, which aired on April 20th, 2023. During that carpool karaoke ride, fans learned several interesting things about Diddy. But the chorus goes, the D, the I, the D, the D, the Y, the D, the I. Despite his many stage names, including Puffy, Puff Daddy, P Diddy, and Simply Diddy, there are only two people allowed to call him by his real name, Sean. Those two individuals are his mother and fellow rapper Jay-Z, whose real name is Sean Carter. Diddy revealed that he and Jay-Z share a unique bond, referring to each other by their given names, a privilege few others have. In a different part of the footage, Jimmy Kimmel is seen having a more laid-back conversation with Diddy. The two discuss their shared love for music and entertainment, with Diddy attributing his youthful energy not to health supplements but to a higher power. He told Kimmel during a previous visit to Jimmy Kimmel Live that he feels as though God is shining through him. Kimmel also brought up Andre Harrell, the music executive who played a pivotal role in Diddy's early career. Diddy reflected on his hustle in the early days, mentioning how his dedication to even the smallest tasks, such as delivering tapes, eventually earned him more significant responsibilities. Mate, I come from just putting two quarters together, two dollars together, just things that were just, you know. His ambition was clear from the start, as he set his sights on gaining control over the music business and working with artists directly. Yet, despite his immense success, Diddy emphasized that his ultimate goal was never to make a billion dollars, but to find happiness. Their conversation also touched on lighter topics, such as Diddy's famous candy rule, huh, where even Stevie Wonder had paid a visit, and the process of putting together the bad boy reunion shows. But the mood shifted when they discussed the infamous East Coast versus West Coast hip-hop feud. Diddy recalled the tension between the two coasts, acknowledging how serious and tragic the situation had become. The feud, which escalated into a quarrel, saw people being harmed and lives being lost, something Diddy described as so unfortunate and so sad. Reflecting on the feud, Diddy explained that the rivalry wasn't something anyone wanted. He shared that they were all fans of each other, including West Coast icons Dr. Dre and Hans Snoop Dogg. It smelled like feet in this place, but <laughs> for some reason it smelled like feet. But and that the conflict was a tragic misunderstanding that spun out of control. He also emphasized how grateful he is that those tensions are now a thing of the past. Bringing Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg on stage during one of his L.A. tour stops was a significant moment for him, symbolizing the end of an era of conflict and the beginning of unity within the hip-hop community. Could Diddy's romantic advice be the key to elevating a relationship 
and what unique tips did he share with James Corden that might surprise you? Let's explore how Diddy's secrets to setting the perfect mood can help create unforgettable moments. Diddy tells James Corden, his biggest romance tips, Sean Diddy Combs, known for his larger-than-life persona, isn't called love without a reason. During their ride, Diddy shared some interesting insights on setting the right mood for romance and shared a few of his own secrets. Diddy began by talking about the reason behind the birth of his seventh child, a daughter named Love, who was born in December 2022. According to the music mogul, it was his recent return to making music that inspired him to expand his family. Family. You can tell how much he adores his children, who love him so much. Everybody's looking right. He told Corden that there seems to be a lack of good baby-making music these days. So, he had to go back to the classics and create a special playlist full of 90s R&B hits to help set the right mood. Diddy even jokingly promised to send this playlist to Corden describing it as the Super Bowl of R&B and calling it a true lovemaking album. Diddy explained that music is an essential part of his romantic routine, but beyond the music, he revealed another unusual tip for setting the perfect vibe. Instead of traditional romantic candles, he prefers a red light bulb. A red light bulb, yeah, he told Corden, explaining that it's a part of his off-the-grid experience. This means no phones are allowed, so couples can focus entirely on each other without distractions. Corden, who was married with three kids, chimed in, saying he already turns off his phone during intimate moments. Diddy was quick to correct him, clarifying that the no-phone rule applies to the build-up to intimacy, not just during it. He asked Corden if he and his wife jump straight into things or take their time. Nine or eleven-ish hours to the south of France. <laughs> it sounds horrible. The there. <laughs> well, Diddy's advice? Slow down and savor the moment. To make the most of the experience, Diddy suggests pairing the right music with some dancing and tequila, specifically his own brand, Delion. He recommended a romantic approach, suggesting that Corden ask his wife to dance, press play on the music, and get into the groove. According to Diddy, making eye contact, being present, and taking your time are key elements of a successful romantic evening. He emphasized the importance of not rushing through the moment, saying that it's all about connecting with your partner and being in the moment without overthinking it. Corden took Diddy's advice in stride, commenting that life was already looking up for him thanks to the tips. The rest of their car ride was filled with laughter and fun as the two sang along to some of Diddy's biggest hits. Together, they performed songs like Bad Boy for Life, I'll Be Missing You, and I Need a Girl Part Two. During their conversation, Diddy also revealed that only two people regularly call him by his birth name. Embattled music mogul Sean Combs' mother is defending her son. She's calling the... His mother Janice and his longtime friend Jay-Z. Interestingly, Jay-Z also shares the same first name, although he spells it Sean. By the end of the carpool, Diddy gave Corden permission to call him Sean as well. Because you're James Corden, you can call me Sean. Diddy said. He added a motivational note, telling Corden that every day should be approached with excitement and a sense of purpose, as if something big is always about to happen. Corden was thrilled by the gesture, jokingly remarking that being on the same level as Jay-Z and getting Sean approved was more than he could handle. The light-hearted exchange, coupled with the music and advice, made for an unforgettable and entertaining segment on the show. His tips, from setting the right mood with music to disconnecting from technology, are sure to resonate with anyone looking to strengthen their connection with their partner. Diddy's romance tips had James Corden laughing and learning, but there's more to their connection than just advice and music. How did their professional relationship evolve into such a genuine friendship? Which I don't mind at all. I, in fact, I love it. I just wish he would quote it correctly. I didn't say, ha ha. And where does Jimmy Kimmel fit into all this? Stay tuned to explore how these bonds go beyond the screen. The nature of their friendship. The friendship between Diddy, James Corden, and Jimmy Kimmel is a fascinating example of how professional interactions can grow into meaningful personal bonds. Over the years, the public has seen glimpses of their relationship through various interviews and joint appearances. Diddy is a larger-than-life figure in the music industry. Despite his tough exterior, and successful career, he often speaks warmly about his friendships within the entertainment world. 
His relationship with James Corden and Jimmy Kimmel is no different. In numerous interviews, Diddy has expressed deep admiration for Corden's abilities. For example, during his appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden, Diddy openly praised Corden for his talent and work ethic. He highlighted how Corden's ability to connect with both his guests and the audience was a clear reflection of his authenticity. This exchange wasn't just a typical interview moment. It was a genuine display of respect, underscored by playful banter and the ease with which they interacted. This thing on in social media called the Diddy Crop, and it, and you know, James Corden, best known for his quick wit and charming presence, has spoken just as highly of Diddy. In interviews, he has often pointed out how much he appreciates Diddy's friendship, particularly valuing the insights he offers. Corden's respect for Diddy isn't just professional. It's personal. It is evident that Corden looks up to Diddy and often seeks his advice, seeing him as a mentor of sorts. A great example of this was during a segment of Carpool Karaoke, where the two of them shared personal stories while laughing about old memories. This moment wasn't just entertaining for viewers. It revealed the genuine connection they share, built on trust and shared experiences. Jimmy Kimmel, the third member of this tight-knit trio, has also shown great admiration for both Diddy and Corden. Kimmel, who has long been a fixture in late-night television, is known for his sharp humor and thought-provoking interviews. Throughout his time hosting Jimmy Kimmel Live, he has often spoken about Diddy's contributions to the music industry. In one particular episode, Kimmel humorously discussed the idea of Diddy running for president, joking that Diddy would be a Boy Scout compared to other political figures. While this playful jab was made in good fun, it also showed the deep respect Kimmel has for Diddy. Not only as an entertainer, but as someone who has consistently reinvented himself throughout his career. Despite the different paths they've taken to success, Diddy, James Corden, and Jimmy Kimmel have found common ground in their mutual respect and admiration for one another. You have to understand me, I, I, I'm self-made. I come from just putting two quarters together, two dollars. Their lighthearted exchanges and candid conversations are not only fun to watch, but they also remind us that even in the fast-paced world of entertainment, authentic friendships can be formed. After hearing about Diddy's close friendships with James Corden and Jimmy Kimmel, we see a side of him that's warm and admired. But is there another side to the story? What happens when these friendships are overshadowed by serious accusations? Let's dive into the troubling charges Diddy is now facing. Charges against Diddy. For nearly a year, Combs has been under the spotlight due to multiple civil lawsuits accusing him of misconduct. However, these civil cases have now escalated to criminal charges. The accusations against Combs are deeply troubling, including trafficking and transportation. The federal prosecutors have alleged that Combs operated a charged enterprise, using his associates, employees, and the vast influence of his business empire to control and misconduct female victims. Being sexually assaulted has been incredibly deep and hard to put into work. According to the indictment, the scope of his activities extended beyond just misconduct, involving actions such as trafficking and misbehavior with women. These are not isolated incidents, but are part of what prosecutors describe as a larger organized effort by Combs and those connected to him. The indictment detailed how Combs and his associates would manipulate and coerce women to work. To ensure the obedience and compliance of the victims, Holmes is accused of distributing various controlled substances during these gatherings. Adding to the controversy, comedian Jeff Wheatick shared his personal experience about attending one of Combs' notorious parties. On an episode of his show, Jeff F.M. Wheatick, who was 20 years old at the time, recounted his visit to a mansion in Miami where he witnessed people engaging in bad acts at what he referred to as a freak-off party. According to VTech, the mansion was enormous, with multiple levels, and as guests went higher, the activities became more disturbing. VTech explained that he was not expecting such an event. This party freak off party in Miami at a mansion. It was like eight stories high. And recalled attending with friends who were dressed inappropriately, fully aware of the nature of these gatherings. He admitted that he did not participate, but described the experience as shocking and overwhelming. This was the first time he had ever witnessed such behavior. In another instance, 
Vitek described going to a party in 2010 after receiving an invite from a friend who had worked on a music video with Combs. While he arrived dressed in a polo shirt, his friends wore revealing outfits, and it soon became clear that this was no ordinary party. Vitek was shocked to see bad activity taking place. Though he did not participate, he called it a surreal experience. Combs' legal troubles intensified when he was arrested at a Manhattan hotel on September 16th. Just six months after federal agents raided two of his homes in Los Angeles and Miami as part of an ongoing investigation. This federal investigation is occurring alongside the numerous civil lawsuits that have been filed against Combs in the past year, further complicating his legal situation. Despite the mounting allegations and legal battles, Mark Agnifilio, Combs' lawyer, has stood by his client, asserting that Combs is an innocent man with nothing to hide. Agnifilio emphasized that Combs has been cooperating with federal authorities throughout the investigation and had even voluntarily relocated to New York. Doing, he's doing fine. He's a fighter. He's a fighter and he's going to fight this. All right, I'm going to go. Thank you. Thank you. In anticipation of his arrest, in a statement, Agnifilio expressed disappointment with the decision to move forward with what he called an unjust prosecution by the U.S. Attorney's Office. He urged the public to reserve judgment until all the facts come to light assuring that Combs is eager to clear his name in court. As the legal process continues to unfold, many questions remain unanswered. The accusations are severe, and if convicted, the consequences for Combs could be life-changing. His reputation, career, and future are now hanging in the balance as the court system determines the truth behind these serious charges. Combs faces serious legal battles that could change his life forever, but how is he responding to these grave accusations? What does he have to say about the charges against him? Stay tuned to find out how Combs is addressing the allegations and the steps he's taking to defend his reputation. Combs' response to allegations Sean Combs has firmly denied all accusations made against him, and he has stated that he will defend his name, his family, and the truth. These allegations surfaced in multiple lawsuits, one of which was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe. Combs expressed his dismay and outrage at the claims in a statement made in December, calling them sickening and accusing his accusers of seeking financial gain. He asserted, Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged, making it clear that he would fight back against the accusations to clear his name. Combs' legal team has been vocal in their defense of him. His lawyer, Sean Holly, described the claims made in the lawsuit as pure fiction and insisted that they had undeniable proof that the accusations were false. Holly stated that they would challenge the allegations in court and take action against anyone who continued to make such claims. State and federal courts. The errors which occurred in this case are substantial. The message from Combs' legal team has been consistent. These accusations are entirely fabricated and they are ready to confront them in the legal arena. In a separate incident involving a lawsuit brought by his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, Combs reached a settlement. However, his attorney, Ben Brafman, was quick to clarify that this settlement was not an admission of guilt. Brafman emphasized that in today's legal landscape, settling a lawsuit does not mean that the person settling is admitting to any wrongdoing. In fact, Brafman reiterated that Combs continues to deny the claims made by Ventura and that the settlement was a mutual decision between the two parties. Combs has expressed his satisfaction with the resolution and wished Ventura well, making it clear that the settlement was not an acknowledgement of any misdeeds on his part. Another significant moment in this ongoing saga occurred when footage surfaced, showing an altercation between Combs and Ventura in a hotel hallway. In the video, Combs is seen attacking Ventura, and this incident cast a shadow over his public image. Combs responded to the release of the footage with an apology, acknowledging that his behavior in the video was unacceptable. Full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. He posted a video on social media in which he addressed the incident, referring to it as one of the darkest times in his life. In the video, Combs admitted that he was messed up at the time and expressed disgust with his own actions. His apology was a rare moment of public accountability, though it did not directly address the larger legal allegations made against him.